games with Damon Bruchot. Uh, this weekend was quick to come to obviously his coach's defense, saying uh, he knows for a fact that everybody loves the coach. Uh, Stephen A. Smith, how much weight do you give to this report? First of all, I give a lot of weight to it because, number one, I'll preface my comments by saying I've known Primetime for years. Uh, he's a friend. He's somebody I talk to a lot, I look up to, have you know how much respect and admiration I have for him. I think he's one of the greatest athletes to have ever played this game. Plus, I would remind Mr. Boone and Mr. Harbaugh that this man is a two-time Super Bowl champion, a Hall of Famer, and he is somebody that everybody knows mm -hmm. a lot of guys in the league talk to. And what I would say to them, and I'm not being disrespectful to Jim Harbaugh, nor Boone, the San Francisco 49ers right guard, or anything mm -hmm. like that. I'm not summarily dismissing what they say. I understand where they're coming from, and I want them to know that. But there's a couple of things you have to take into consideration here. Can you vouch that everybody in your locker room feels the way that you do about putting their name on stuff? Mm -hmm. Nobody can. The fact of the matter is, is that there's a whole bunch of people that give anonymous quotes. There's a whole bunch of people that says stuff off the record. The journalism industry can vouch for it. I've been doing this for more than 20 years. You've been doing this about 40 years. Mm -hmm. We can't count the number of unnamed sources that we've gotten information from. And for those who want to sit there and summarily dismiss it, let me educate some folks and remind them about something. This is sports. It's millions upon millions, if not billions of dollars at stake, but it's still sports. If you can cover the White House, where you're talking about taxes, where you're talking about foreign relations, yep. where you're talking about things that directly impact the lives of 319 million Americans, that is the population of us in this country, okay? But you use anonymous quotes. Why wouldn't you do it in anything else? Mm -hmm. It's par for the course. People that are being talked about may hate it, but it's a reality that is inescapable. Because especially in this microscopic society that we're living in, where your words are parsed and you're constantly held accountable and things that people are interpreting and misinterpreting and attaching meaning to things that you may or may not have said, and we have such a sensitive PC society that we're living in right now where if you pass gas, it might make headlines, okay? The fact of the matter is, is that it's more incentive for people not to attach their name to things. So it is not beyond the pale that somebody in the San Francisco 49ers locker room, if not a bevy of individuals, may have said something against a coach in Jim Harbaugh, who we all have respect for, who I believe should be given an extension and a raise, who I believe has been mistreated by the 49ers organization, but it is not beyond the pale that he's not everybody's cup of tea. And if you need proof, look at him in the Super Bowl when they played the Ravens. That week, Super Bowl week, did, was there ever a person that looked more uncomfortable with having to address the public? And by the way, that's, what, that's going up against his brother. You understand? <laughs> and that's what his parents, who had a press conference, who were absolutely lovely and fantastic. But who was the one Harbaugh that looked yeah. incredibly uncomfortable? It was Jim Harbaugh, because that ain't his cup of tea. So, yes, he would attach his name to it. I totally believe that. Yep. And I totally believe that he's right when he talks about how he doesn't attach much credibility to anonymous sources or whatever. But for Boone or anybody else to act as if, oh, no, there's no truth to this whatsoever, because it's an anonymous source, let me be very clear. First of all, you're wrong. And secondly, mind your manners and mind who the hell you're talking about, because we are talking about prime time, Deion Sanders. And I think with his personality, with his cachet, his credentials, his resume, I don't think there's anybody that will look at primetime on the NFL Network or mm -hmm. CBS and sit there and say, nobody talks to him. Yeah. Come on now. Well. Look at this is primetime we're talking about. There are plenty of brothers in the NFL mm -hmm. who talk to primetime just because they don't like it doesn't make it false. And by the way, he tweeted primetime okay. that some of his sources wear suits, suits well. <laughs> so they don't have lockers, they have offices. Yep. Am I correct? Yep. And, 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 and by the way, he's telling the truth about that too. Okay. All right. So, which is why I also put a lot of stock in this. Now, big picture, you have to remember how the NFL works. Locker room chemistry is week to week. They're just coming off a big win, so now Alex Boone is, it, it feels a little more empowered to yes. say, we love Jim Harbaugh because they probably do at this moment at least like him a little more than they did maybe a week ago and let them beat Kansas City this Sunday and get on a little roll. 
I'm sure they will come back around to, hey, he's not such a bad guy after all. Now, the, the one thing that Jim Harbaugh has to accept, that it's, it's painfully clear, you brought it up, his management has not been down with Jim Harbaugh, let alone the players, right? So they've been at odds. You know, he's got the year to go. Are they going to resign him? Are they going to give him? I don't know what's happening there. But, but they're not totally with Jim Harbaugh. So I'm, I'm assuming that trickles down into the locker room where players are thinking, yeah, th this guy's pretty hard to deal with. He has mad genius in him. Yeah. He has crazed rage to win in him. It rubs people the wrong way, especially players, even though Jim himself was a very good NFL quarterback, very good. But he's not what you would call a player's coach. His father was a coach, and he's turned into more of his father, who has an arm's length relationship with his players. So is he wearing thin in that? Mm -hmm. Sure he is, because he can come across as a little dismissive and condescending. He's got that, that Larry Brown thing in him, if I may bring up your old friend that you yes. covered for years. Yep. How many jobs has Larry Brown had? Can't even count them. Can't even count them. <laughs> I, I'm, in, in, a, in a way, I'm, I'm shocked that Jim Harbaugh has lasted so this long, long here. Yeah. Seriously, and it's right. just because they've been That's so right. successful. Let's keep in mind, mm -hmm. the San Francisco 49ers from 2003 yeah. to 2010, oh. spanning eight seasons, yeah. missed the playoffs every year. The first year that Jim Harbaugh comes in there, they go to the NFC they Conference did. Championship game. With Alex. They've been to the NFC Conference Championship game all three of his seasons in San Francisco, mm -hmm. plus a Super Bowl appearance, which okay. he lost to his brother, which, by the way, they ran out of time because they were coming back, storming back in the second half of that you're game. You're telling me? Right? Now, <laughs> now Skip. I still yeah, haven't gotten over it. Yeah, no. Skip, keep this in mind. <laughs> keep this in mind. Yet, despite that clear success <laughs> Jim Harbaugh was almost traded to the Cleveland Browns he was yep. after they hired Mike yep. Pett yeah. The San Francisco 49ers, still, after Cleveland hired Mike Pettit, the San Francisco 49ers almost traded Jim Harbaugh to the Cleveland Browns. Clearly, San Francisco management isn't fond of him. But I want to say this. Mad genius, whatever you want to say, all right, he is clearly not his, not, not his brother. His brother is just polished, man. Yeah. Now, they did come across in the whole Ray Rice fiasco, but the brother, in terms of how you want to be a head coach, how you conduct yourself for press conference, Super Bowl week, et cetera, et cetera, his brother was clearly the big brother yep. and more comfortable in that sure. position. But Jim Harbaugh has proven to be an elite coach on the NFL, he deserves his money. He does not deserve the criticism that he has gotten, you know, quietly, tacitly. And oh, by the way, Boone needs to re let me teach Boone something here. Uh-oh. Make no mistake about it that it's coming from that organization, oh, too. Oh, for sure. All right. Sure. Just, 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 you know, listen, All it's right. not an accident. Yeah. So let's just right, keep that in mind. Um, this may be a case of the devil you know is always better than